Hello everyone and welcome back to Glow's Life. If you're new here, hi hello my name is Glow. In 2018 I was diagnosed with BPD and then in 2022 I was also diagnosed with autism. So it's been a month of me trying actively to overcome my agoraphobia now and it's going really well. I actually think I'm doing amazing, better than I thought I was going to do and I'm going to make a video talking about the things that I've did that have like helped me get over it but I just wanted to make this video really quickly to tell you things that I've learned whilst trying to overcome my agoraphobia and it's only a couple of things so far like a couple of topics but I really think it's important for me to say this online and to help other people with these things so for me with my agoraphobia I think if you've also got agoraphobia you know that maladaptive daydreaming and social media are like mm. the best parts of being agoraphobic when you're in it because maladaptive daydreaming you can live in any freaking world that you want to live in like literally you can do anything you can be anyone like when i'm daydreaming i'm capable of so much stuff that i'm not capable of in real life um so that's always fun to make me feel like better about myself and then as well as social media you get to socialize with people and interact with people and learn things without having to leave the comfort of your own home so it seems perfect but in reality maladaptive daydreaming and social media are really just hindering you on your journey and don't get me wrong i need to say like i'm one of these people where i really want to quit something or do something or make a change but I am incapable of doing that until I get to a point mentally where I'm like, today is the day. Like, I've done that with drugs. I've done that with alcohol. I've done that with smoking and vaping. Like, I've really wanted to quit all of them at some point. And it's like, I'm not there yet. I'm not yet there yet. And then one day I'm like, today is the day. And then I just, that's it. Do you know what I mean? So I got there with my agoraphobia. Today is the day. So if you're not there yet, do not shame yourself because you will get there. And if you're not one of the people whose brain works in such a way, then I, I don't know, you might need to push yourself a bit harder, but I can't speak on that because I don't know. Anyway, with the maladaptive daydreaming, it, it really is all fun and games, but I've wasted years of my life lying in bed, dissociating a maladaptive daydreaming and making up my own world because it's so much more fun than the one that I live in. But I saw this quote that said, you can live 80 years and only live one day. And it really freaking resonated with me. And I just thought I need to stop doing all this. Um, sorry, if you don't know what maladaptive daydreaming is, it's essentially like really vivid daydreams, like very immersive. I can really spend hours just in my own head creating all of these scenarios, especially when I'm listening to music. That is like a really good way for me to daydream. Anyway, so I spent a lot of time doing that. And then in 2018, like I was always a social media girly since I was a teenager. However, when I was um, in 2018, sorry, when I got diagnosed with BPD, um, that's when I started getting more into social media. And then I met my ex-girlfriend. She introduced me to Twitter and then that changed everything. Like I had tried Twitter a few times, but this time like I made a whole community. There was a Twitter group chat for BPD girls and non-binary folks as well, just no men allowed. Um, there, there was so much community, there was so much goodness. And I, it really helped me improve my life. But also in the same breath, I then started to snowball into the online world and it got to a point where probably around 2021 my whole life kind of stopped like it really just stopped and then it all started online um, and that really worsened my agoraphobia in, in the sense that I didn't need to go out for social interaction because I had it in my fingertips but it also improved my mental health because now I have a community of people who understand me. So when I decided that I need to get over my agoraphobia, one of the things that I had to do was I had to really take a look at myself. What did I want? What do I want? And the thing is, I don't know what I want, but I know what I don't want. I don't want to spend the rest of my life online. I don't want all my friendships to be online friendships. I don't want to just sit and eat and daydream and play on my phone like all my life like I need I want to be active I want to be fit and I just it was not good for me at a time trust me it was good for me so don't think oh no I'm online all the time it's really bad because it, at a time in my life it was good 
but it really hindered me and I noticed that I, I don't want to say brainwashed or manipulated but it's in the same vein as those things I have spent a lot of my life letting other people tell me what's right and what's wrong and what's okay and what's not okay like obviously I have my own beliefs and my own morals like there are certain things that other people might not agree with but I'm set in stone on them that is my belief but for the most part I'm I'm quite easily influenced I'm quite easily manipulated I just feel like I was made to feel like if I didn't think what leftists on the internet were saying was the right thing to think and the right thing to do I was a bad person and I am so fucking scared of being a bad person I'm so scared of being in trouble I'm so scared of like hurting people and doing something wrong and I just I feel like I've done things that I wouldn't normally do I've said things that I wouldn't normally say I've reacted in ways that I would probably normally react but not about those things like I feel like it really changed me as a person and then when I came offline into the real world people like it's crazy how it's it's so different like no one no one thinks that way no one speaks that way no one it, it's it's a different world honestly out here it is so crazy different um so i just yeah and and i when i deleted all my social medias it just really made me realize how toxic it all is and i don't want to be a part of that like I thought about disabling my Twitter and then reactivating it, but I'm just like, no, well, X, it's Twitter. Anyway, I just can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. It's really not good for me. I've made such a community on there, but I've taken the people that I needed to take with me and I've moved them over onto my friends and family only ones. And one more thing, um, apart from all of the negative social media maladaptive daydreaming that I've learned as well, is I've been making an effort to eat healthy food and I hated when people would say this it's like when people say oh go out and have a walk and you'll feel better and you're like that's such bollocks and then you go out for a walk and you feel better and you're like oh I guess they were right it's like that like I've started eating more and like I said in my other video I'm doing at least a mile walk a day and I'll be fucking real with you I've not done a mile walk a day most days I've done a mile walk a day but then every like maybe there's one or two days a week where I'm like I am so tired because going out and living your life is exhausting because you've got the mental like going on and you're preparing yourself and masking and doing all the things and then you've got like the physical side of it which is exhausting as well so it's a lot um but yeah and I've I've just been doing like little bits of exercise here and there and let me tell you I feel so much better like I'm not an exercise girly. I've never been an exercise girly. There was like six weeks where I had a personal trainer and it was hell. And I used to like run or jog or whatever, like for like five minutes when I was a teenager, but I've never been that girl. But trust me, I've just been doing little bits that don't really feel like too much. And I feel so much better mentally and physically. And finally, I don't know if any of you are spiritual baddies like me, but speak to your ancestors ask them for help because when i'm really struggling um i went to see a psychic and he told me that i'm also psychic but i've got blockers in the way and which is true because i'm like low-key like i can predict shit and i know shit and i've seen ghosts and um shadow people and stuff so like that but anyway ask your ancestors because for me i can feel it like there was one day where I was really struggling and I was saying to them like something really bad had happened and I was like please help me please help me please help me like I just kept repeating that and then all of a sudden just I had this like this feeling of like just this feeling come over me like kind of like of calmness I don't know and then my it was like go for a walk and then I, I would trust me I would never just get up and go for a walk when I'm like that and I did and I swear if you ask them for help if you tell them exactly what you want help with and you need help I need help personally with my patience because I have no patience and to stay calm because now that I'm actively living my life there's a lot of anxiety and then it makes me angry because I I don't get cry some people go cry I get fucking angry and shouty and I don't want to be that person I don't want to be like my dad and I know I'm not I'm really not I'm such a good person compared to him Jesus Christ but they helped me genuinely I was like please give me patience and then the next hour things that would have pissed me off I 
I'm like chill and I probably sound crazy to some people but at the end of the day this is a religion in and of itself it's just not organized religion so don't shit on me okay um so those are just a few things I've learned um just just do what's best for you and if in this moment in time it does mean staying in bed eating shit not exercising playing on social media and daydreaming then i actively encourage you to do that because the day will come when you're ready to put all that shit away put all it down and say right i'm gonna live my life now and then life will be ready and waiting for you um but thanks for watching and if you've got any advice any words of encouragement please leave a comment like subscribe share the video to anyone you think might find this helpful in no way am i trying to shit on anyone this is all just my experience and you know what's best for you so just do that all right thanks guys see you in the next one bye